Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Train Simulator 2019. Today we're going to be rolling with the brand new Hudson Line New York Penn Central Station, or New York Penn and Grand Central Station to Croton Harmon. believe I said that right. But this route actually was just released, I want to say, a couple days ago. Um, it is a brand new, kind of a newish route. There are some characteristics of some stuff you would have seen from, uh, let me see, it's this route right here, New York to New Haven. We do have some of these uh, M8 locomotives kind of m7 m8 almost the exact same thing just a newer model as well as we have an amtrak p32 acdm which is basically that same p32 you saw in that one other route just repainted into amtrak colors same thing then we have some emd sd csx sd40-2s as well probably the same thing that you've gotten in the uh, past with the sd42 csx ones nothing really major just a brand new route um today we're going to do a scenario called whiteout um, snow is causing delays on the railway tonight. Hudson Line is closed between Greystone and Scarborough due to a snow settling to overwhelmingly swiftly. Most trains are terminating at Yonkers with the limited service also serving Greystone to help get people out of the city and as close to home as possible. I'll be taking charge of a limited stop Greystone service, which ain't the worst thing in the world. Um, we're going to be using the Metro North M7As today, and I also have a scenario with the Empire service, this one coming up soon in, I want to say a couple days or so, I don't know, I don't know, I do also have another one coming up with a uh, different <clears throat> uh, different route and whatnot, so we're going to hop in the scenario right now and see what it's all about. Alright, so Grand Central Terminal Controller to Metro North Engineer, there are several delays and cancellations, but I should be able to get you out here by 612 or 1812. You'll only be going as far as Greystone due to the snow that has fallen so quickly and overwhelmed any efforts made it to clear it in time. Sounds like a plan, so we're going to load the pastures here at Grand Central uh, Grand Central Terminal. Track 33, huge track, huge, huge track difference. Set our throttle to forward. Let's take a look around the uh, locomotive real quick. This is kind of the same thing that you got in the uh, Metro North, I think for Train Sim World, which is a little bit different, not as much like interactions with the... Uh, things and everything as you would get in train sim world but it's basically almost the exact same thing except we don't have to like charge brakes or anything along those lines but yeah as you can see doors do open we are going to graystone which is designated on our destination sign headlights and stuff are on at the moment we do have marker lights in the rear i'm pretty sure yep we do got marker lights one thing that's really cool about this um train set and i'll figure it out once we or i'll show you guys once we uh get clear to this because I think he said by 1812 so we have a few minutes but as actually if you look at here how these are green these are red that means these doors are open which is kind of cool and then this thing right here will say doors close once we're closed which is kind of cool that's something you don't really see in uh, train simulator 2019 that's more something like you'd see in train sim world so that's actually kind of cool how they integrated that and then also tell you here like brakes are applied or released and then your uh, alerter which is right here it'll start beeping like when you have to uh, press it basically and I think it's like every 30 seconds or so so we're gonna turn on the gauge lights there um, headlights are fine where they're at I do want the cab light on though where's the cab light there we go doesn't really do much didn't really do much don't really need that right now See there it says doors closed, all those are closing, which is cool. And then the uh, throttle is set to forward. So we keep going, uh, oh no, we keep going, we gotta go down, we gotta go down. There we go. So as you can see here, it says breakthrough released. I believe I had it in forward. I did not have it in forward. Now I have it in forward. There we go, I thought I set it to forward, I forgot to set it back. There we go. Our train is now moving out of uh, Grand Central Terminal. And we're only going to Gray's, uh, Greystone, so it's a little bit of a not really that lengthy trip, but we're going to stop at Harlem, Yankees, Sputin, Yonkers. Looks like we're going to be departing here on a restricting at a 50 mile an hour zone. We do have a horn on this, but there is no bell, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, but not much I can really do. I wish the cablet was actually like right above you, like right there. It's so damn dark. But really nothing I can do about that one, so. I'm going to start 
letting this thing cruise a little bit since we're coming up to 15. We are on a point based system, so I'm not trying to uh, go, or I'm not trying to lose points over some silly speeding. And there you go, as you saw there, it said alerter. That is whenever that beep hits, you have to acknowledge. It could be a speed change, it could just be that 30 second warning. So uh, who knows? Who knows? Start applying some brake here. I don't want to go over 15 miles an hour. Kind of, it's going, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up. Kind of hard to tell what we're doing. We're really diversion tracks here, good God. There's an inbound. There's another outbound coming up from down there. I'm not sure where he's coming from. Ooh, that was a that was some jerking. Good lord. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed with this route. I was kind of messing around with it a little bit uh, yesterday, but I kind of like this route. Or not yesterday. Yesterday, the day before I did this recording, which was on Friday night. So I was kind of messing around with this route. It's a very it's a very nice route. I gotta say, nicely made, nicely detailed. All that fun stuff, although they did recycle some stuff from that one route like this, and then Harlem 125th, but I believe instead of going um, to the right like we did, we're going to the left after we clear the station. So, I believe, I didn't really go out that far, I just went to 125th Street, just to kind of try the different scenarios and look at the different um, trains and whatnot, so. Looks like he's going there, we're going straight. Straight piping at 15.9 miles an hour. Hoping that doesn't go up. But who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Oh, oh, it went up, it went up, it went up. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, we didn't lose any points. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So yeah, as you see here, we got like ATC operative, which is like your uh, automatic train control, and then bypass. That's pretty cool how it pops up on there. It's kind of like how the P42s did it with their limiter, where you have to do it like every 30 seconds. I think that's pretty cool how they integrated that into this. So I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really excited to do this. I just am. The only thing I'm going to hate, though, is this whole 60 mile an hour um, zone through here. Not really, really looking forward to that, but we're coming up to a 60 here, about two cars out, so. We got someone coming in on the inbound as well. But yeah, like I said before, I'm not using a rail driver right now. This is strictly uh, mouse and keyboard, more mouse than anything, but. I'm going to start accelerating. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to exceed uh, comfort levels on the train, so we're not going to go too fast. But I also don't want to do it too slow. So I do want to accelerate. That is going to get annoying real fast though. Let's look at the actually, actually before we meet this train here. Let's go ahead and look at the interior. Right here. It kind of looks really, really nice. I love the three seats it's got. Or the two seats. And it's got two seats on this side. Three on this side. Which is kind of nice. Save space. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's actually go back and go to a different view and whatnot. Check it out. Hey, you can't really go to a different view, but let's actually start throttling this thing up so we don't go above 60 miles an hour. So we are at 51 right now. Harlem 125th Street is coming up here soon. Alright, 59.8. All of these things you see down here on the tracks, these white little boxes that you see in the tracks, are our actual signals. So if you're looking here and you're wondering where the hell is the signal, it's actually that box in the tracks, which corresponds to these little things right here. N means clear, L means limited, uh, medium, M means um, at least like an approach, and then R is restricted. So, I'm not really sure what the terms stand for, N, L, M, R, I thought it would be like C, A, something, something, something. I'm not really sure what the uh, acronym stand for, but there's another inbound with the P32. Nice, nice, nice. We were supposed to dim our headlights there, but we can't really dim the headlights on this locomotive, especially in the tunnel. So, but oh well, it will. 
with any luck, we should be seeing that one inbound coming up to us, or did we, or did we bypass him? I don't know. I don't know. Wipers, 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 wipers. There we go. We're on a clear. We may have bypassed him. I thought he came out that way too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, we did bypass him. Holy shit. When I was playing this the first time... Yeah, when I was playing this the uh, first time... Um... He was actually ahead of me coming out of the tunnel. We actually beat him coming out of the tunnel. But that's one of the things you gotta watch out for in this game. Is whenever that alerter goes off, you have a few seconds to hit this but acknowledge button. Or else the train will throw itself into braking mode. Which is not very fun. So we gotta really be on our toes with that. We can't really just be doing going out the outside view like I'm doing now. But it looks kinda cool. We got marker lights on this as well. It's pretty cool. I want to start slowing down for this 40 in the station, so. Because I feel like that'd be a little bit more important than looking at marker lights. <laughs> Slow down for the 41st and then the station. But yeah, we are actually beating him. That's a, that's a shock. Like I said, when I was testing it, it was beating us, and then we were racing it, and then we were just kind of coasting into Harlem, so. Looks like we do have an inbound at Harlem as well, so they're really running the inbounds. That's two outbounds and like four inbounds since uh, we started this scenario. Oh man, the brakes on this thing sound freaking horrible. Yeah, the brakes sound really horrible. Good God. I think we're all on. Just about. We're on. Awesome. There's those doors opening. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys are enjoying this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button down underneath the video. Drop a comment down below as well. Always love to read your comments and I always reply to all the comments. Depends if I don't get to it right away, I'll make sure to respond to it within like the next within like the next couple days, but I all do respond to almost every single comment that gets put on the videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But let's actually watch these uh, doors shut on the train. Don't want to go until all those are green. Until that beeping stops. But there we go. Now we're going to be heading up to Yankees. Let's shove her up to Yankees. And there's that one other service right there. I believe he's actually running later than we are. But he's not even opening his doors. So I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of just chilling. Unless there's... I don't think there's a platform on this other side, is there? No, so he's just kind of probably stopped. Yeah, I don't know. There's another inbound. A whole, whole nother inbound. Oh yeah, he does have a stop indication, but so do we. Oh no, not anymore. Oh, you dick. You are a dick. He completely just fucking just decided, no, I'm going to speed up. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna win this fucking race. But it's going to a 35 mile an hour, so I mean, he really, really can't be going that fast. But he might be going to the other opposite direction than we are, so I'm not too worried about him. You got that 35 coming up. 40, 30, 40, 45. We'll start knocking down the throttle here a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so he's going opposite. So that makes more sense. Inbound, outbound for us. Inbound, outbound for them. That actually makes a lot of sense. That is very interesting, though. Like, you would think you'd want all inbound on one side and all outbound on one side, but... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like he is going a, almost the same direction we are. The screen's kind of flickering, which ain't good, but probably how it goes in real life too, so I'm not too completely worried about it whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still alive. 
I'm not asleep. Leave me alone. I have to go into suppression, don't I? I don't understand what I'm slowing down for. I, I had enough. Unless it was for that 30, but I had enough. Oh, signal speed. That would make sense. Signal speed. That's something I wasn't looking out for. I was like watching my speed. I was like, I have enough speed. It was a signal speed because we are diversion tracks. That makes a lot of sense, actually. You're on the uh, yard? Interesting. I've never been out this way before. Interesting. This is new. This must be a pain in the ass during rush hour, though, with the one track. Or is it two tracks? Oh, no. It's, two, it, it's three tracks. Never mind. I'm being dumb. It's three tracks. We're running about a minute late, which ain't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running about a minute late. Which, due to the snow and everything, I'm not too completely worried about. Whatsoever. Whatso freaking ever. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I hope you guys are having a great, great weekend. I'm actually off on Saturday, as I said in my American Truck Simulator video, but I do open on Sunday. Which sucks, but what can you do? What can you do coming into one E153 Yankees right now on track one? I'm gonna start slowing down for that a little bit. So I got one, one person, two, three people. So I got three people coming on. Just three. Damn, nothing. Went up on mile pole six as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full train for three people. Whole train for three whole people. We got the whole train in. Look at that. Marker lights and all. Looks nice. I'm going to actually deduce the throttle here a little bit. You can see the cylinder and the pipe go down, which is really, really awesome. I love how it does that. There we go. We got a timeless penalty. I'm not too worried, though. Usually they wait till uh, the doors are shut, but... We're running a little bit behind schedule, so train won't start until the doors are shut anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Got a 60 mile an hour zone in mile pole 6. Sputin Duville. However you freaking say that, is next. In about four and a, a little bit more than four and a quarter mile, a little bit less than four and a half miles. I was gonna say, is that a train trying to rate trying to race us or is that my train, but that's my train. Yeah, like I said, I have not been this far out on this route yet. I've only been to Harlem, so we're gonna experience this bad boy together. I can't wait to go on the Empire service either. This damn alert is gonna be the death of me. It's legitimately gonna be the death of me. Although the one thing though I didn't see about the uh, Amtrak P32 is that there's no ditch lights. So you got the headlights on, you got the ditch, or you have the headlights, but there's no ditch lights unless you use the horn, which on this route you probably don't use the horn at all whatsoever. Looks like this is a tiny ass platform. We'll fit like one car, two cars on it. That's it. Well, I'm not trying to lose points. Damn it. We lost four points, but oh well. Oh, well. Oh, six points. Meh, not the worst thing in the world. So, yeah, I think that's our... Uh, we got two more stops before that one. And then... 
we basically end the scenario. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with these. Stupid thing. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what we're technically supposed to do with all of these. But... Yeah. I don't know if it just kind of scenario ends at Grays... Graystown or Graystone? Graystone. I'm so used to it. There's a Grays Lake and a... There's a Grays Lake in Illinois, so I'm so used to saying Graystown. Or not used to saying Graystown. I'm so used to saying Grays Lake. We're about two... And a half miles left to go till Spute and Duville. So, but yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if the scenario just ends at Greystone or if we're supposed to deadhead the train south. But like they said, it was snowy and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. Stop, I'm not trying to lose any more points here. Things are annoying sometimes. Just kind of steady coast until we get up to that 50. Just keep it steady coasting. But yeah, that's the thing though with like trains is it's hard not to speed. So like most trains will have like an uh, overdrive of speed you can go. These you can't. So these you have to keep at 60. Like with the P42s and stuff on like normal lines like the Empire Builder or whatever, they have a maximum override of three, usually, so you can go three miles over the posted speed limit without the alerter going off. That's something I wish they would actually, like, implement in this game. But I understand with, like, the ATC software and stuff, it's kind of hard to do that. But for, like, the Pacific Surfliner route, it'll say you're going over speed if you're going above, like, let's say 70. Oh, come on. There we go. 50.7. Worked for me. About a mile to our next station stop. We have that 30 coming up. Then it goes 75, 45, 79 it looks like. So this whole route makes no kind of sense to me. That, that makes no sense to me with the speed unless there's a curve. Unless we are coming up to a, a massive curve. Yeah, this is totally not our station stop. Nope, sorry lady, this ain't yours. This is not your train. Don't think that's your train either. So we're at that 50 coming up on that 30. It looks like it is, the reasoning is a curve. But it doesn't seem like it's that tight of a curve, so I don't know. Oh, I thought the... Yep, there it is. The hair it is at mile pole 10. Got some pallets. Oh, it might be this curve. That's why. No, well, not really. It's not that tight of a curve. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have... I don't know. I haven't a clue... Unless it's because of the station. Unless that's it. Oh, okay, because the switch is there. Never mind. Here we are at mile pole 11. It's Butte and Duville. I'm noticing that we're stopping on the longer platforms. Rather than the shorter platforms. Does that might mean another train might have those covered. But yeah, we're going to get the first couple cars off of the platform here, it looks like. Just the first car. Yeah. Be quiet. I don't think there would be a way to get the whole train. No, there's no way to get the whole train on the platform. Oh, I thought the marker lights went out for a second. Oh, they do. They do. That's, that's weird. That's weird looking. So we're a little bit late in the sputin, but that's alright. That is quite alright. Not the worst thing in the world. There's worse things in the world than being a minute late. Do 
Doors are now shut. Next stop is Yonkers in about four and a quarter mile. Yeah, the one thing I also noticed that there is no sand on this either. So if your wheel's slipping, then you're kind of fucked. You can't like brightness or change the screen. Just change the screens either. Kind of sucks, but I mean, nothing I can really do about it. I don't even think we're gonna do the 45. I think we're just gonna run up to you as the 75, or run up as 45, and then just wait. But now I gotta stop it here at the 30 before we get to the 45. Like we are departing on a clear, we're gonna be about a few seconds late into Yonkers. Which I'm not too worried about. We wanna climb up here to 45 mile an hour since it's coming up in 10. There's really no point in having a 75 here if you're just going straight to a 30. So I don't know if that's how it actually is in real life, but that'd be really stupid. But we are diversion, so. Like we were diversion back there, so. That could be the reasoning why. So we'll just start speeding up. Now. Still gonna be a minute late into Yonkers, which ain't the worst thing in the world. I'm not too worried about it, but it is a nighttime run. It's going to be a very, very scary nighttime run. You can see here, it's really, really dark outside. If you turn those headlights off, you ain't seeing nothing whatsoever. Cab light ain't really doing shit to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleared it up. We'll have to go full. We'll go full throttle. We'll do full throttle. You can see your amperage. Actually, no, your amperage is not going up. Weird. They show brakes. You'd think they'd show amperage. Oh, they do. But, okay, I see it now. I see it now. Right there. I see it now. I'm going to say dynamic brake, and it's not showing like your actual amperage. So, yeah, we'll be almost about a minute late in the Yonkers. So... Looks like there's a CSX train. Nope, that is a regular Metro North M7. Yep, M7. This is an express train to Greystone. Missing textures. Interesting. This this route is missing textures. Yet I didn't install anything. That is interesting. The next stop will be Yonker. This is an express train to Greystone. When they said we were running limited stops, they weren't kidding. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And we're at 420 plays at points right there, motherfuckers. All right. All right. All right. Yonkers comes out to a 50 mile an hour zone. Another inbound. Man, they're running them inbounds like crazy, but they're running like... No outbounds. It makes no sense. I, I can't. I hard, find it hard to believe that all of these trains are going from Greystone. I find that really hard to believe. Now I find that really, really hard to believe that all these are coming from Greystone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start applying these brakes here for that 50. One thing I like about this though is the blended braking it's got. It's got the dynamic and like the regular train brake all in one. There we go, we got to that 50. Coming up to Yonker, so I'm gonna start slowing it down anyway. Yeah, see, missing textures. I don't understand. I really don't.
and it's even got missing textures on the uh, platform yet this is just a straight download from Steam I'm really confused right now I'm legit confused and we're all on the platform perfect I need a new thumb I need a thumbnail for this thing so only the damn sign wasn't in the way that works get that th thumbnail out oh the headlights are off there we go that's better I'm gonna say the headlights were off I didn't like that <laughs> watch these doors close a little bit As you can see here that is your brake status lights once that light turns off that means the doors are shut but to see if we apply these brakes oh, yep this that light switches to yellow the brakes get released it's clear which is nice so if you're ever looking out your back you can actually see like hey clear 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 whatever or if like the lights are open, that's pretty much what they, the engineers use is the status lights of the doors and whatnot to know when they're okay to go. Like subway operators, they don't actually have conductors. So the subway operators gotta know like when all the doors are shut and everything. But that is fucking weird how there's missing textures. And I didn't download anything but like the basic route. There's no add-ons, no like mods or anything. But I know of that is so fucking weird. Unless there was something corrupt in my download. I don't know. I don't know. That's just weird. That is just plain, plain weird to me. But we're about two and a half to Greystone Platform 3. Fuck off. That is a that is that would be a nice thumbnail, except it's really dark, which I don't like. So we'll have to light it up a little bit, which is why I chose that station one. Date, time, no time, no date. Operating screen. I'm not sure what these are though, but I know these are the doors right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do have eight cars on this. One, two, four. Two, four, six, yeah, we have eight. I wonder if we had like a six car train, if that would show six car, like two cars or whatever. Well, speakers are off, HVAC is auto, shop mode, no. PA level is normal. We can't like switch into any of these, which kind of sucks. Train number. And I don't think I can switch like the destination sign from here either. I think it's just the destination sign is just kind of set to whatever um, route you're on. But fuck, 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 fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck, 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 fuck. Stop, 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 stop. 20 points, all we need. There's Greystone, so I'm kind of wondering how this is going to play out since it says Greystone's our last stop, but then we have all this crap here too, so I'm kind of confused how this is going to pan out. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, show your support, and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And if you'd like, drop a comment down below. Like I said, I, I, uh, I uh, uh, respond to all the comments down below, unless they say something stupid. But I do respond to typically every single comment down below. It might not be right away. It might be a day or two later, but I do respond. If you guys want some suggestions for train sim, something you guys want to see, Hit me up in the comments. Also join the Discord server. There is a suggestions um, channel where you can suggest different train uh, trains to show off if it's available. Um, ATS, different truck mods, trailer mods, GTA 5, any like police mods, like police callouts or something like that. Basically anything suggestions. I do take suggestions very seriously, and they're usually done within like the first like couple episodes. So I do try to do you guys' suggestions as, a, as soon as possible. Or as soon as I can. But like I said, with Train Sim, the next two videos for this game are going to be this route. 
and then we're gonna go to the Mariah's Pass route for uh, a special train that's probably a lot of you guys have probably never even seen so I'm be excited to bring that to you guys and here we are Greystone we got the first uh, car off the platform so I don't know how this is actually gonna pan out but I feel like this would be a better thumbnail if that wasn't all the way in the uh, darkness uh, actually this might be a good thumbnail move that We'll see. We'll see. We'll see when I get there. So we'll see what this thing says. Minus 17 points. Hudson Line to Metro North. There are snow covering most of the three lines. Workmen on the line have managed to clear your track of the snow that was once there. Snow is causing problems at Scarborough. It has been clear and there is heavy and frequent running between Terrytown and Croton Hunt. You have done well this far, but we request that you continue with passengers to Croton Harmon. It might be the only train to get through tonight. Your pathing as follows. <laughs> You will continue on track 3 stopping at all stations to Terrytown. After that you'll be routed on the track 1 run non-stop to Croton Harmon. Please be watchful for trackside workers trying to clear snow. We recommend a good use of horn between Greystone and Terrytown. Okay well I was not expecting to do all this. So. Yeah. I was so not expecting to do all this. So I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to do a part two of this just because I feel like this was already like half an hour long. Don't really know. But um, we're going to do a part two to this scenario. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me on all those social medias, Twitter, uh, Discord, Instagram. All that stuff will be down in the description below. As well as a link to this route. And, um, yeah, guys, I will check you guys later. Peace out.